one of the newest members of our global makeover team. She is Brooklyn-based. We've got any folks from Brooklyn today? Can we give it up for Brooklyn? Okay. Well, actually, a lot of trends start in Brooklyn. Um, we're excited that Chanel has wanted to work with Mary Kay, be a part of this special event. She is confident about color. She loves the, col the power that color gives women. So if I can ask Chanel to come up on stage and join us, she is going to actually be leading you through your makeover. Hello. Welcome. Happy International Women's Day. We are so happy to have you a part of this event. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much for coming in this weather. It's incredible. I know. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Um, I couldn't be happier to be here. Um, this is such an incredible opportunity to celebrate Mary Kay's 50th anniversary. I mean, I that's know. incredible. <laughs> Empowering women and on this Global Makeover Day. Yes. Setting records today. Yeah, Another I one. Amazing. I can't wait to see the look that you are going to be creating on your model and helping these ladies create for themselves. All right. I'm excited, too. You want to introduce your model? <laughs> I do. This is Snow. Believe it or not, <laughs> this is Snow. She's come to... Wonderful. She's, she's come to join us today well, on stage. Well, let me get out of the way. Let you get started. Okay. And I'll be back because I have some questions for you. Okay. I can't wait. Okay. Thanks, ladies. So we have about 15 minutes, and we have this beautiful palette to work with. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is, you guys have your looks on there. What I want to do is I want to do this in stages so that we can, instead of just giving you this look, we can stop. And if you feel comfortable with less then that's what we'll do. And so we'll work with this in stages. If you want to get your, are you guys ready? Is everybody ready? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start with an eyeshadow brush. And what I like to do is, because the colors are so concentrated, I want to pick up a little bit of silky caramel. And I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. I'm going to tap the excess off which I like to call the drift, so that you don't, it doesn't get on your cheeks, right? So we don't drag it down. Close your eyes for me, Snow. And I'm going to start by blending out what's on there. And by the way, her skin is, of course, perfectly prepped and primed. She's got concealer, foundation, a beautiful luminous glow. And this is, of course, the cornerstone of all makeup, right? We want to be able to harness it and keep it on there and have beautiful, fresh, luminous skin. So I'm going to introduce a bit of the silky caramel to the lid and blend it out. So I'm starting right at the lash line and introducing a little at a time. And for me, it's the most important thing to build rather than just to put a ton of product on right away. I want to build it so that I have full control of the makeup. So I'm going to introduce a bit to the other lid. And blend as I'm doing it up into the crease area. Again, picking up more, tapping the excess off. Now, if you should have um, wider set eyes um, and you don't want to go all the way into the corner, uh, you want to go all the way into the corner rather. If you have wider set eyes, you would bring this all the way into the corner. If you have closer set eyes and you want to create a little bit more space, you maybe don't want to bring the product all the way into the corner of the eye. This will allow for a little bit more space to sort of be created between the eyes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, and you can see how that, just having a little bit on brings out the blue color of her eyes, very beautiful. And if you guys need any help getting catching up, I think that you guys all have your independent beauty consultants around to help you out with that. Do you? Independent beauty consultants, you guys out there? Show of hands. Woo! All right, there we go. All right, taking a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to take our time with this. We're going to build it. We're going to go into the crease. And again, blending. Blending is so important. And brushes. Now, if you brought your own brushes, that is fantastic if you have this amazing set of brushes, which is so lovely. And really, you can create all the looks you want. If you have to use the other brushes that were provided for you, try the little brush first. It will put on less product than if we use the sponge tip applicator and we'll have a place for the sponge tip applicator in a little bit. All right, the next thing I would like to do is introduce a bit of the copper glow right on 
the lid as well. And I want to build this color. And I'm going to add a little to the other eye, again, starting from the lash line and blending up onto the lid and in through the crease. And then I'm gonna switch brushes on you. So I'm gonna take this, and this is just sort of applying a nice dusting of the color. So you see it, it's a really beautiful wash. Nothing's too heavy, and it sort of just fades out, as you can see here. So again, on the other eye, taking a bit, picking it up. And again, just dipping, dipping your brush in, literally just touching it to the product, right? Tapping the excess off. And if you need to use your fingers just to blend out, you got good fingers, right? Fingertips are good for that sort of thing. So we're gonna blend it out. Excuse my weird angle, I'm trying to not cover snow here. And I'm gonna give it a little sort of wing at the corner, bring it out, just sort of accent the beautiful shape of snow's eyes, kind of pulls them up and brings them up in the corner. Then I think I'm going to add a bit of the granite. Again, you know what? I'm going to switch my brush to, ladies. How do you guys feel about this crease brush? I think it's amazing. Do you guys have this one? Don't you love it? Amazing. Okay, so when picking up the product, what I want to do is just kind of pop one side of the tip in there, right? Wiggle it around a bit. I don't want to coat the whole thing, right? I don't want too much product on there. I want it to be very concentrated where I actually pick the product up from. Tap the excess, that way I have full control. I can build this. All right, so then I'm gonna start right in the crease. Now, when I say crease, it's not actually where the skin folds, but I mean under the orbital bone, right? That's really where we wanna create dimension and shadow. So for example, on my eyes, small lids, my crease is really low, but my bone is right up here. So that's where I cre create dimension, and that's where you will create dimension on your own faces, right? You don't wanna put it in the crease and then open your eyes and have it disappear. So the crease is really under the orbital bone. Does everybody get that? Okay, let's try it. If you haven't tried it before, try it now and you'll see a huge difference. Okay, so right under the orbital bone, introducing the color, the granite, such a beautiful color, creates a lot of dimension and shadow you can, but it can be very soft as well. I'm gonna add a little bit to the outer corner, kind of blend it in to the crease in the outer corner, adding a bit more. And then you can see where it gets more concentrated as we add a bit more. Keep it on the tip and then blend it up. And then blend it out on the corner. And I always like to just take what's left on the brush after I've applied the concentration of color and then sort of blend in an upward motion and use what's left on there just to, just to taper off the color and feather it off. See, we were creating a lot of beautiful dimension here. I'm gonna step across here so I can see the other side better. All right, so again, under the orbital bone carrying it across and then up onto the bone. The further up on the bone that you actually go, you create more dimension and you open up the space much more, okay? So again, the higher up on the bone you go, the more open you create, the more open space you create for the eye and you can put, you know, the eye looks a lot more open and it projects, the feature itself projects much further. Go a little bit on the outer corner here. I love this color. The texture is so beautiful. How are you ladies doing? Everybody doing, you guys doing it? Catching up? You guys are focused. All right, I like to hear that. <laughs> All right, again, now, so to, I'm gonna show you a little trick. So on, on um, Snow's left eye, I did a soft application in the middle under the, under the orbital bone right here. But I did it a little deeper and I brought it a little higher on the bone here. See how that makes her eye project? It looks more open, rounded, and the feature looks like it's not as flat and it comes towards you more, right? It's more multidimensional. This makes a huge difference. So when you wanna play with color, I added a bit more so we're building it. 
I added a bit more. Now, if you feel comfortable here on the left eye, you can stop there. And that's nice if you're getting familiar with the idea of wearing color. Um, if you really want to, if you feel good and you can explore and you can go all the way with it, we'll keep going in stages. But I want to show you the versatility and the flexibility of this palette and also these amazing mineral shadows that have so much pigment to them. Okay. So, again, um, right under the orbital bone, and now I'm starting in the inner corner and I'm introducing more color, <clears throat> tapping the excess and building it up under the bone. And we're going to create a lot more dimension. It's going to be gorgeous. Now, this can get really dramatic and beautiful, which is nice. So if you, you know, start with something light and lovely during the day, you have to go to an event afterwards, you can easily build this color. I also love how well these colors stay on. Does everybody agree with me there? Ah, uh, I love the way they stay on. Okay. So now we start to see that the eye space looks more open. How is everybody doing? Good? Okay, focused. I like it. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add some extra color to the lid right at the lash line, and I'm going to also create a smokier look overall. So I've done stuff on the top. You could put a little coat of mascara, call it a day. Beautiful look. It totally is gorgeous. If we want to sort of make it a little bit more well-rounded, we want to bring the feature out a little bit more, make the feature pop and sort of look a little bit bigger, from a distance, we can add a little shadow. And I'm going to start with a little granite. Take it on. I'm going to take this smudge brush. Add a little bit on this. Um, everybody watching? A little on the smudge brush. Do you guys have this one? If you don't have it, your little applicator brush you can use too. You got it. Yeah? Okay, so just on one side, tap it in the product. And introduce it. Look straight up for me, love straight up to the ceiling, introduce it. And if you guys ever you come across, you know, you put your concealer on, you set it with your powder, and then you go to get to address a part of your eye and you see that it's creased, just use your finger, blend it out, and maybe set it with a little bit more powder. At that point, it should really help to sort of eliminate where it settles into the crease, okay? You can also use the back of a, a brush and just kind of quickly blend it out, right? You can use your fingertip or you can use the end of your brush, which is a fun little trick I use. Look straight up. So... I'm going to take the smudge brush and I'm going to blend underneath. And now we're starting to create some more drama and dimension. It's still quite soft and quite pretty. So we could again stop here if you feel most comfortable here because it's really about you feeling good, confident, and comfortable wearing this. But also knowing that there's endless potential. Look straight up for me. And. Again, introducing it just under the eye, starting right at the lash line and going out from there. The smudge brush is so nice because it introduces um, the color and it also helps to blend it as you're doing it. So you can introduce it. And if it's a little bit wider underneath, it's lovely. A nice buffed outer edge for your line, beautiful, okay? So it doesn't look too hard, too sharp. Um, so that looks lovely. We're going to go and add a same, same brush. You know what? Let's switch gears. I'm going to add a little liner to this. I'm going to take the bronze liner. You guys want to grab your bronze liners? And I'm going to introduce a little color on the upper lash line. So with the liner close for me, honey, um, I'm going to take it right to the base, starting right. I kind of start close to the center. Again, if your eyes are close set, you don't have to go all the way to the inner corner. If they're wide set, take it all the way to the corner and rim it all the way in, it, rim it into the very inner corner so that you're pulling the focus of the eye closer together. All right, so we're going to take this. And what I love about these liners, oh my goodness, they're beautiful. They go on really well. They have such a nice concentration.